Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be looking at the Pixie Set website, um, specifically the store function, how that works, how you can assign it to different collections, different albums. We're going to look at how you can set the prices for those photos for your clients to buy. We're going to talk about changes in the price and also where do those photos come from, who prints them out. We're going to go through all of that today. I've had some questions about this in previous comments, previous videos, and I wanted to cover it a little bit at least. This is kind of the introduction to that. I will be making another video in the near future talking about how you implement your store into your Pixieset website. There are some easy implementations, really nice ways you can do that. Um, I just wanted to give this video first because this is an important kind of building blocks for that next video we will be doing in the future. So I'm on the Pixie Set website here. If you want to learn more about this, you can feel free to click the link that's showing up. We're going to go to the top right, open dashboard. I am signed in already, so we're good to go. Let's click on the store. Store, top left, products. And here are our products. These are the available price sheets that I've already created, that I've created, I've filtered through. Um, some of them were there to begin with. Um, they, they kind of are pre-filled out. Uh, depending on what the lab offers, I guess, is a way to say it. Um, they just recently updated this. So the store function, what we're going through all, was like updated three days ago. I got on yesterday to do some research about this video that I'm making, and I noticed that it was updated, and I'm like, wow, that's perfect timing. So I'm very happy about that. Let's go ahead and add a price sheet. So this price sheet we're going to call YouTube. And as you can see, I've had a time or two go at this. So print fulfillment, whether we want automatic fulfillment or self-fulfillment. This is a great question, depending on whether you are printing out the photos yourself or whether you're going to just have Pixie Set do its thing, choose what lab, print it out, send it to the client directly. That way there's kind of no skin in the game for you except for the fact that you hopefully your photos look good. So we're going to call it YouTube. Automatic fulfillment, self-fulfillment would be if you printed out the photo yourself or you chose what lab, so whether you wanted to choose staples by chance to print out your photos, I don't know why you would, but possibly. By the way, I just want to state I'm not sponsored by Pixie Set at all, just doing these videos as kind of tutorial how-to, so I'm not sponsored by them at all. If they want to sponsor me, by all means, but I'm not sponsored by Pixie Set. Anyways, automatic fulfillment. Down here, we can choose what lab we want Pixie Set to choose. So there's four different options if we wanted to. You can read more about these as well on the Pixie Set website. We're going to use recommended pricing for now at least, and we're going to click Create. Then at the top, we kind of have a quick overview of what this price sheet looks like. So the name, fulfillment, automatic, lab color correction, whether the, the lab color corrects your photos the way they think would look right. Obviously, I want that off because I'd rather choose that. We have uh, what collection is this is assigned to or how many more like. And down here, then we have what products are available for the customer, for your client to buy. And there's a lot of different options here. I love the freedom, uh, just, just how many options there are. Obviously, depending on what gallery, what uh, collection this is going on, you probably want to refine this down. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right. So I've refined it down to seven items, seven products that I'll have available. This way, it's a little bit less overwhelming when the client opens up a certain collection. It's a little less overwhelming for them to see 20 different options instead of seven. Seven is a little bit more doable, I feel like. I feel better generally if I kind of have more refined options when I'm looking at something to buy, so long as it's refined in a tasteful way. So do this tastefully, obviously. So now if we want to edit the prices for those or what size a photo is available for them to buy, we're going to click into edit. From here, we can see what size variations are available. Up top, it kind of lists some out as well, as well as what paper is being provided, what paper is being available to the client. If we want to change those sizes or the paper, we just click manage options and we can check mark what size is what paper. Then we hit save. Obviously, once it's done, it's saved. And then if we want to see what prices those are going to be, we click the little down arrow. So the original price, the price to the lab is going to be 470. That's how much it's going to cost a lab. Anything above that is money that hopefully you're going to make. Now, I do just want to say real quick, it does depend on whether you um, you have a Pixie Set subscription. 
because uh, if you do have a subscription of sorts or if you are paying Pixie Set something to have your website, then there won't be any commission for Pixie Set to take. It'll be 0% commission fee, which is great. That's if you have a subscription plan with Pixie Set. If you are only using the free version, there will be some sort of commission fee that Pixie Set takes from each sale of your photo. I don't know that number. I'm sure it's listed somewhere on their site. We can also apply a bulk markup if we want to mark up all of these photos in this large format print. Again, we can mark up percent by, let's say 20. Instead of 100%, 100 is a little bit high. We'll apply 20%. So 20%. Obviously, if we see again, it shows round prices up to the, the dollar amount. So 20% is going to round up to an even number. So there we have that. So $6, $6, $8 for this size and this paper, obviously, depending on what paper. And we can click save. And then we're done refining that large format print. Really easy, really simple for me, a photographer, someone who's... Uh, done a little bit on the web, it's, it's really simple. I, I like how they've done this. So if we wanted to add another product, just in case there's something else we want for this store, for this price sheet to have, we can click on add product. Um, so whether, whether it be a digital, digital download, whether it be a package, so you can you know, put a bunch of, a group of products together at one price and set that up, you can do that or a self-fulfilled item. You can add that product right there. Once we're done, once we're happy with how it's refined, we've changed all the prices to prices that we'd be happy paying, whatever it may be. Um, it, it automatically saves each time we refresh it, of course. Once we're done with that, we want to jump over to a collection, um, to a collection that we're going to apply this price sheet for. All right, so I've jumped over to my scripture art collection. This is a new one I'm starting to create, which has uh, Bible verses over beautiful images with kind of some cool edits on them. Um, I'm really happy with these. I'm getting them printed out at large sizes, getting them put up in my apartment here real soon. Um, but if you want to see this collection, feel free to check out that link. This is where you might apply a store. So let's click on the gear icon here. And then down at the bottom, we can click on the store. Here we choose what price sheet we want. So in this case, we could change it to YouTube if we wanted that new price sheet. I'm not going to change it to YouTube. I'd still like it on wall hangings but that is where you would change that. So once you change it, once that's saved, it automatically saves again, we can just view this collection. So this is what it would look like if someone opened up this web page right now on a big computer screen, of course. And then over to the right, we can see the little cart or we can see the print store. These are all, the, the print store and the cart are gonna be things that I'm going to get into in the next video. There's just too much to go over in this video. I'm going to wrap it up here, but that is how you would create a product for your, for your website. Um, there's, there's more to it, like I said, in the next video, but I just wanted to, to get that out to you, you know, praise the Lord. <laughs> um, but by all means, if you have questions, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully I'll get that next video out within the next week or so. And feel free to subscribe if you're watching these videos and you're interested in seeing more content, please subscribe. I appreciate it. And if you want to buy these photos, they are online available for you to buy. So uh, uh, they are sponsored by me. But hey, I hope you guys are doing fantastic and I will catch you in the next video.